Hey, a door. Alive inside. Contrary to popular belief. <laughs> I blacked out when I grabbed the handle. Stay there, Clementine. Ooh. Can't think about them in here. This door leads to the back alley. Good to know. First aid kit. Don't slip. Thank God. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Well, at least we know it's there. Clementine, why are you here? Everyone seem okay to you? Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not going to go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm going to try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Nah. I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. Pallet? A stick. She looked at that stick awfully funny. It's because it's a hockey, is it? What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time oh, to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Hmm. Well, that's nice. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> it's a look of evil on our face there. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Uh, what do your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Sweet. Why did you turn it? No. Oh. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? <laughs> uh, I hope not. It's just complicated. I hope not. It's just complicated. That's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. <laughs> Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Up on the desk. I'll find you a bandage. I know where bandages are! First aid kit. Uh, 
Oh yeah. Let's have a look at that finger. How? Oh. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Bandage. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Ah, oh, bonding moment. I like this. There you go. Smooth. How's your finger? How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Uh, have you heard any? Uh, Glenn. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Sweet. I'm pretty cool. Alright. It's locked. We need to track down the keys of a Keys. Keys. The pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. A protector, at least. Keys. Is that a key? That's a pitch. Oh! Well. There I am. Find anything? No. Uh, no, nothing. No, nothing. I know who you are. I'm sorry, what? You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WAB. And you have to say it in front of the I kid. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. Uh, what's it to you? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I uh, hear I'll just keep it to myself. You bloody well better. Thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. You heard nothing! What's in the drawer? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Where's the TV? I want to turn on the TV. Oh, is that the first aid kit still? Luckily, there's nothing I need. Um, That's what I figured. Huh. So where on earth is the key? Terribly inconvenient that I lack a key. Other place, maybe. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. I'm on time. Huh? 
Hearts to you two. It's food. Set back on the box. Counter, counter. That's the door. I'm looking for keys. Interesting. I don't remember them very well. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a job. Right, talk to Clementine first. Make sure she's okay. How's your finger? How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad. And that's where I'll end it. <laughs> I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, <laughs> no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm running out of time, so I'll end it here. Uh, <laughs> very anticlimactic ending, but uh, I'll catch you next time. Toodles.